Hello my friends, I'm of course Mr. Mocha Lover, as you all know, and let us continue playing as a Lutadoras Libres in Old World Blues, but I asked you guys yesterday, what should our intelligence agency name be? And someone came up with a really, really great idea of the mask removers, which fits very, very well for uh, what we will eventually be hopefully called as the Free Fighters. Now here, I, I don't know if there's anything here that really says there's a mask. But let's go ahead with this. This looks really nice. So let's choose that for the agency. Very good. Uh, a couple comments included uh, the writing for the like focus trees and just the lore for this nation is actually really interesting from you guys. Uh, what you guys wrote about it as as we go through these focuses, which is really cool. But now we have to choose another focus. We're going to choose the, the academy. Though it is a worthy path to dedicate yourself to a life of wrestling, we should also seek to foster a body of bright individuals who wish to advance the science of the, or the, the science of the nation. The founding of our new academy, La Escuela de No Pelear, is just what we need to achieve. That getting another research slot is great. So, a couple of the comments include that some of you guys are very worried that I I am stretching myself out too thinly. Especially if Zapata, like, would want to go to war with us, which they probably do. But, uh, yeah, we'll fix that. We'll get there. Uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. If things happen, well, then you won't see me recording this then. So, easy as that. Let's see. But we will take out the Sinaloa cartel in this episode. There's another comment, but now I can't remember after I did everything else. Let's see, just talk about something else. That's kind of useless. We could continue raising stuff. We, we're going to continue maybe trying to get some more manpower. Maybe that's going to be our goal. Oh, let's, let's pause time. Nevada pack. Vegas just joined it. And they have to do a cup of flavored coffee here. The, the normal white chocolate, strawberry truffle, Kona coffee. Good stuff. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, we're pretty stretched. We're stretched actually very, 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 very thinly. I'm actually going to go ahead and move you over here. So only one division is going to be guarding that area, which is fine. Whatever. Uh, hopefully Gentok will continue to attack us. Which they should, but we'll see what happens. If they don't, then I'll probably move this one division from here, from these four stacks, over to here. So, Vault City joined the... How many people are joining the Nevada Pact? That's not bad. NCR's down here. The Rangers, Vault City. New Vegas is looking pretty thick. Excuse me. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good for them, actually. Cool. We'll probably attack right here, though. Alright, so we got to make an encirclement. So, probably here to here to here. Encircle maybe two divisions, if possible. So, you guys go here to here to here. And then you guys go here to here. Cop out the attack. If possible. They should be able to win. There are only three divisions while we're attacking with six. So that's pretty good. Pretty darn good if I do say so myself, my friends. Uh, let's see. Good, good. Just beat them up. You know, just casually beat them up. We, last time we kind of perfected our soldiers, which was great. We got some guerrilla attack. So we take even less damage when we're attacking. Enforcer suppression. Um, advanced weaponry. We'll probably go with weaponry. So let's go with this one already. Uh, more like infantry breakthrough, which is not a lot, but still very necessary. Very, very necessary. So they're not attacking us. I'm actually going to remove one here. I'm not going to remove one from the center one just because I can use that extra division to go over here to the right or here to the left. So, yeah. And I still want to bait them into attacking us. We don't want them to get too strong, right? We really don't. Plan for the future. They're still out of manpower, so that's nice. Hey, they're attacking us, so we're going to pay them kindly and attack them as well. Oh, our scam just found something. Very good, my friends. Very, very, very good. So as soon as we win this war, ooh, the mask remover is very good. Uh, we're going to core this land because we're going to need it. Good. You guys have done a great job thus far. I don't know if I want everyone to move. Just beat them up first and then we'll do something about it. Oh, come on. Come on. You guys got this. Come on. Come on. They'll get there. Hopefully. But now they have animal observations, they should do very, very well, because now they just got even more breakthrough. Now let's get some more recovery rate and less out of supply and re more resistance growth in our states. So we should take even less losses when we're attacking with our entire army, including infantry. Love it. We've lost about 400 guys, that's not bad. But we do have to go through this as fast as possible, because uh, you never know when Zapata's going to get crazy. And we don't like a crazy Zapata. Look at that dynamite. Do we have dynamite on our soldiers? We don't. What am I doing? Go ahead and do that. That'll be worth it. Ah, uh, see, I was worried about this. Go ahead and pause them there. Go there. You know what? If they're going to attack, you might as well help out then. Uh, we got to attack there quickly. I'm going to actually tell you to hold, though. Because I need one of you guys to go this way. Good. So this way, they don't attack us in there. We get in here quickly. And we help support the attack here. That would be good. Alright, good. You guys help support the attack. And then you two help support the attack down here. It's not much, but Zapata, if you want to give me some dynamite, man, we're all game for it. 
Guys, I was leaving to declare one. Damn, Buster's cool. If we can actually win here too, that'd be awesome. Ah, yes. Good. Alright, so you can stop attacking now. It's good. You can all stop attacking, except you're not going to really stop attacking. You're going to help attack there. You're going to help defend here as best as best we can, but we're still going to attack right here. Are we getting attacked anywhere else? In the south? In the north? No, 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 no. Good, 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 good. Uh, you should be able to move over here and help out. Help them out. Alright, so they're probably doing like last stand because they're losing quite a few guys. And we got another research slot. I love it. Let's see. Uh, special forces. Let's grab this one. But our plan to chip away at the pride and imagined superiority of the two masks is to spread rumors of our own mil mascaras. By circulating the legends of a warrior twice the size of a man who's always ready for a fight, we can lure them into wanting a match with us. A fourth research slot, my friends, even though we're still tribal. Hmm. Ah, but we got some guy who can defend our lands. Bernardo de Ampudia. Infiltrator and a safecracker. Cool. Come on, guys, you got this. A, we pushed him out, actually, which is really nice. We'll probably take a few more losses, that's okay. 58. They're throwing more divisions in here, which really is not bueno. We could cut them off going this way, too, if we really wanted to. Quadrant searching, good. More cap and growth, which is always necessary. Get some more of that, because we can. We're losing manpower. 63%. Ugh. Come on. They have to be, like, they have to be out of manpower, don't they? They have to be. No, they're not. Are they out of supplies or something? Because they're not looking super strong. No, they got plenty of infantry equipment, too. Huh. I'll support the attack. I just want to encircle two divisions, man. That's all I want. Don't let them move. Hey, we did it. Good job, guys. Good job. Help them out. Help them out. Kill them off as soon as I possibly can. Don't worry about attacking. These guys should be able to hold their... Uh, yeah, glory falls. There goes the glory. Uh, that's a big old Maximilian, though. Hmm. A lot of resistance, but that doesn't matter since they have robots. Cool. Hey, we did it. We lost quite a few guys, but you know what? We killed off 2,000 of them. Beautiful. Definitely helps out. We can't move over here now. Which sucks. We're gonna come up here and get a border, another border with Gento del Sol. Oh, you know what? Let's risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I really wish they attacked me somewhere else. Oh, yeah. If we try to attack here, it's gonna end in failure, probably. It's fine. We don't have a lot of manpower, though. We're gonna get 0.94 a day. That's not a lot. Oh, they stopped giving us dynamite? Oh, man. Come on, guys. Help support the attack. Trading barriers for more borders. Borders for borders. My boss is not having a good time. That's fine. Good. Beat him up. And we'll just stroll right in. And then now we're going to have a little border we have to guard up here too. Which is fine. Which actually makes them weaker down here, which is a good thing. <sighs> Very good. Help, help with the attack. There you go. More soft attack there. Very nice, my friends. So now, this is going to be unfortunate, but we're going to strip this army of a few soldiers. Which really sucks. Uh, I'm only going to put one soldier here, though, so like you, pull out, one and up, pull out, get another general, Jose Baragan. Cool. Get more defense, you're going to need it for probably defending here. There you go. Oh, actually, you might need two divisions. That is not ideal. There you go. That's all you need. So that's the okay, case, so we can get one more border here. Swakwai Grande? Hmm. We're gonna attack here next soon, probably. Let's get our guys some more. Oh, they're actually attacking here, too? Nice. Warrior equipment? Nice. Uh, you can do Pioneer Kits, I guess. They're attacking us down here, which is good to see. Gender Dussel. Oh, NCR and the Brotherhood. Steel War? Yes, please. Don't mind if we do. Or don't mind if you do. Good. Yeah, I really wanna attack here. It's probably. Uh, we really don't have the divisions to do a great encirclement. One, two, three, four. We can attack with one, two, three-ish, but not really. Well, kind of. Yeah, we have a division there, so I can kind of hold one, two, three. Push up with... Yeah, we can probably try it. All right, here we go. But really, you're just going to go up there. And the other division is just going to go like... Boom, boom. Because half of you guys are going to go with them. There you go. Try that. And took all three more divisions, and we'll have to cause us to lose a few more guys. And that's okay. Or, you know, use them for borders against... Genta del Sol. Yeah, we're winning pretty well. Yeah, this is just like seven divisions versus one. We do pretty darn well. More organization, a triple threat. The clock strikes three, and so begins the match between Mel Mascaras and the Dos Brothers. With a green titan being twice the size of a normal man, the twins have requested they wrestle together. Our quest, El Santo, has granted, knowing very well that it won't save them from being humbled. Very good. Good job, guys. Get in there. Good. Now they're going to lose strength as we're doing that. And we push out immediately. You can't move. You Seriously, you can't move. Ah, uh, fine, you know what, you hold in. Four research slots is 
the bare minimum. Um, let's grab that. Another division? Jolly good. Put him on the front. Unless we need him here. Which hopefully we don't. Okay, seriously. You're not allowed to move. In what universe do you think you're allowed to move right now? Good. Now, definitely don't let him move this way. No, 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 no. If you want to help, uh, help him move up, that's fine with me. Come on. We've got to cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Good. How about... You might as well start killing them here. Great! Now, we could get in circle if we don't do this correctly, but do that. I don't care about this territory up here. Oh, and we got to make sure we do good resistance stuff. Probably... Uh, no, okay. It's fast. Actually, for now, uh, do eradication. It's going to cost us quite a few guys, but we're going to get way, way less resistance, and which is something that we really need right now. We have no crowd control gear, which really sucks. Actually, what are we missing? Spec Ops equipment, that's it. Okay, cool. Good. All that matters is we kill off the enemy division. That's all that I care about right now. Still not attacking. It's fine. I don't really care. Help him out. Alright, you come up here. Just take all this territory around. That's good. Good. So, you are actually going to come here, but... Let me get rid of that. Good. And actually, I'm going to throw you right there as well. You're going to do that, but you are going to come here too. Well, it looks like they completely abandoned the line, so go right ahead. Move in if you can. Oh boy, they're... Hmm. I'm glad I looked at this. I wonder where all the divisions went. We can really try to pin them down by doing this, too. We should be able to win. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Oh, they are going over there. That's fine. Let them see what they can do. We'll get some flamethrowers in this campaign, too. Uh, help them out. Really put them down. Don't let them move. Now, they're probably employing the strategy of, I'm going to take a lot of hits to my... Manpower for now, but whatever. I'll save it. Got a whole 16. Uh, I'll throw you guys over. Yeah, for now it's fine. Just move in quickly, quickly, quickly. Move in through here quickly, quickly, quickly. You don't, you don't have time to move. You don't have time to waste. I mean, uh, actually, you know what? You hold here. You. I think you're doing a great job by yourself right there. Nice. Four research slots. And we just got some more recovery rate. Let's get some more soft attack and heart attack. A lovely thing. Uh, technology, agriculture... Uh, we do, I don't think we need any more of that stuff. Uh, infantry equipment we can use more of, so let's go buy some. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, we're expanding down here, we're expanding down there. I don't know why they retreated to this island. It makes a lot of sense, actually, for them to do that. But, still. Oh, they want to cut us off. I see. That's not good. Well, then, we'll get down here, then. If, yeah, they cut us off, which sucks, but... Oh, hey, a new power merges in Utah. Very cool. If we can break through here and break through here, that's totally fine with me. Uh, I'm going to have you guys force attack. Because right now, I need you to hold... Yeah, we actually came here. Uh, we took the capital. Is anything going to happen? Capture the Lost Souls Bunker. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Alright, we got the capital. And now we got to get Paral. Hey, it looks like we may be in circlement, maybe or something like over there. Not bad. We've lost about 600 guys. Probably more because of, you know, uh, resistance, but that's okay. You guys did a great job so far. These guys are actually cut off from the capital, kind of, but they have a waterway, which kind of sucks, but whatever. That's okay. Um, yeah, if you want to bend your position, that's fine with me. You know, go right ahead. Twins and the Giant, triple threat, my friends. Yep. So, after defeating the majority of the Elders within the Two-Faced Warriors, Mel Muscardus challenged the twin leaders of the tribe to combat, offering to fight them both at the same time for the sake of fairness. This match takes place in the center of the Federation's greatest camp, under the watchful eyes of every chief who has bowed to the Federation thus far. Though valiant, even the mighty twins can't help the match up to the raw physical might of the super mutants in unarmed combat. And both are defeated when a devastating slam renders one of the brothers unconscious and the other pinned behind his massive frame. With their prides firmly checked, the two-faced warriors agree to join the Federation. A few more divisions. Great! What do they look like? 10.8 combat width. Interesting. Good. Oh, they got fire teams and demo teams. Good. Oh, this is looking uh, not too bad, actually. Uh, you know, I was kind of concerned that they put 
guys over there, but you know what? If they don't, I'm totally okay with that. So you guys, I'm actually going to throw you under this group so we can just keep moving. Cut these guys off if you can. Thank you. And, let's see. Rebuild the arena. What? What? With all the matches happening between the various tribes, it's become a dream of many in the Federation to rebuild the pre-war Lucha Arena in Los Mochis, a symbol of pride of Mexican heritage in the Old World. It could serve much the same purpose as in ours. That it, it'd be really effing cool. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, 450 is quite a bit of political power to get. Yeah, that's a bit much, I'd say. But you know what? If we can cause mass casualties, get a lot of army XP, and have a good time getting more experience for generals, I'd say it's not too bad. And the cartel is gone. Now we must prepare ourselves for a potential war against uh, Zapata. But at this point, I'm not really too worried. I'm going to throw you over here, actually, and throw everyone over here. Because you're going to expand as fast as you possibly can. And blitz, blitz, blitz. Your goals get literally right there. Um, I'm going to have you guys just go like towards the middle. I'm actually going to have you, though, go straight for the capital. Hopefully they don't deploy soldiers early, but we'll see what happens. You guys. I love using you at Nicolas S, but... Yeah, we gotta wait. And you know what? Hmm. I don't want to lower that army strength. I was thinking about combining the armies, but I'm I'm deciding against that right now. Uh, I will use you guys up. There you go. Uh, you know what? Instead of this one, I really want to rebuild the arena. But we really need to. Oh wait. Oh, we can't do that. A villain for every tail. Huh. Taking refugees. Well, that sucks. Let's rebuild the arena then for now. Well, that's the case. You know what? Let's get some more compliance down here then. Let's pacify and get some more. Uh, there you go. Nice. Go, 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 go. And if they're not moving, I'm kind of okay with that. They're just shifting over here for some reason. At least that's what it looks like. Do they not see behind them that they are, like, getting encircled themselves? I mean, that's fine if they don't. Like, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. And. Time to strike. Cool. Push in, push in. Take Tierra City. See what you can do. We're not going to win early on, which I totally know and understand. But this is good for us to, like... Uh, we, we literally encircled pretty much probably the entire army here. 10,000 losses. See? I see. Th you thought I wasn't going to be prepared for this. Now, I still probably am not, because we still have to fight Zapata. Which is going to really suck, eventually. And we don't have any cores on Sinaloa Cartel or Genta del S uh, Souls army as well. Which really is just straight up trash right now. But that's okay. That's okay. See, I, I had everything under control. We still need a lot of scrap. Of all things, scrap is what we need the most. 21 divisions. We're doing a great job. We took out the city. Come over here. You guys come get to Pueblo Libertad. And have a sip of nice yummy coffee. Hmm. We're mobilizing a little bit. Interesting. Hey, see? Easy. Easy. Well, we've done pretty well for ourselves so far, I'd say. Fortunately, we can't do this. A villain for every tail. I don't understand what, what... Is that supposed to happen eventually? Stand against a bull? Great rematch. So your channels. We're running out of things to do for a focus field already. Oh, my goodness. Heavyweight champions? Sure, why not? Well, we need to get some more manpower too, so... It is what it is. Sell some outdated equipment. Uh, focus on the channel sphere. No, we're pretty good. If anything, we'll probably have to fight these guys next. Which is actually fine with me now, since... We're actually kind of ready for them. Except, minus the whole not having manpower part. Guardia. We already have anti-tank. Doggos. Recon. We don't need any more recon. We already have 11. Fire teams. We could probably use doggos. So, for now, let's standardize everyone. I love the two-faced warriors, but... Yeah. And the Messadinas and stuff like that. Everyone, you are all special in your own way. But, uh, your specialty... Well, we need to streamline you guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, we're still building some more stuff. That's nice. We could really use some more scrap, actually. Which kind of sucks. Got plenty of support companies, though. Northern Vancouver taking in a raid. Go and lower that to one. Lower that to two. Flamethrowers, nice. We love the hot fire that spews from our wrestlers. Uh, let's go and grab logistics. I uh, could grab saws. Uh, let's go logistics, why not? Because we can. Ah, very good. Work camps? I love work camps. As long as they're re-education camps? I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, over here, got some of that, that'll be good. Um, cut down the number of divisions that we need, because obviously we can't support them. You know what, don't even make any more for now. We need to see that manpower. Ah, good. So how do we get a villain? 
The Great Rematch. Oh, we might have to choose now. A Bittersweet Victory. Blue Demon becomes the unit leader. Champion of the people. The High Flyer. El no, must scout us. El Santo or the Blue Demon. Let's see. Shard Wars. Alternative Blue... Alternative Blue Demon routes. Cruel Legacy. Huh. Down the coast. For basically the Vice Royalty. No, more non-core manpower max planning and land of empires against Nueva Atzalan. Or will the many more max factories in the state. Truth of the Hero. Alternative El Santo route. Goodness gracious. Message to the people. Stoking the fires. Oh my goodness. Rage against tyrants. Stability, war support, division, attack, and defense. The Great Federation. Lasting peace. That people love freedom. The High Flyer, though. Off the top ropes. Strength of the free. Less supply consumption. More division. Less division attrition. Alternative route for this one. Land of the free. Welcome refugees. Oh, that seems like we need a lot more manpower, which would be good. Recovery rate. Division attack on, and defense on core territory. Max entrenchment. Hmm. Let freedom ring. Modify Russellmongers by... We can send more people out. Helps against Kaiser's Legion. Oh my goodness. I don't want to have to choose. I don't want to choose. We'll get this up later on. I'm really questioning when does like the, the vic villain for every tale happen. I really don't know. I want refugees. Does this happen? Shelter for the weak. Oh, is it down here? Great refugee, high flyer. No, I don't think so. It must be a national spirit. Maybe this happens when like Kaiser attacks us in the south. Replace champion here of the people. Northern line, gentle day. Oh, we can get cores. Oh, we might want to grab that. Um, hmm. Shelter for the week, no. Good award for Baja. Oh, we could probably rush through these, honestly. So with this, you get Dockyards, you get Sun Eater, which I don't have any more slots, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, Undermining Soul, which doesn't matter. You get Forts and Outposts, but you get Factories there. I'm going to go with... Chinto de Sol. Well, Chinto de Sol doesn't exist, so we can't do that one. So we'll go with probably the Sun Eater channels. Recently, we've been receiving letters and cryptic messages about a troubled warrior who calls himself Sun Eater. Supposedly, he's leading a disposed warband that were driven out of their land by the Generalissimo and his goons. Plannings begin to liberate their lands from the tyrant. Which kind of sucks that things don't just get autocompleted since we already killed, literally killed Jinja Del Sol manually. Some of you guys said I, you were worried about me being spread out too thinly. I know what I was doing. I know how I wanted to kill off my own manpower. I'm used to killing off my own manpower, you know? It's a good thing. 80s. Hey, Imperial Mexicano, yeah. Oh, no, Santa Ana got all that. How did Santa Ana get that? How, wait, what? How did he get... What? I have a slight bit of uh, confusion right now. Hmm. Honestly, we don't really need that many more military factories. We need dogs. Hey, we'll get one for for uh, doggos, but then... Maybe choose some power stations after that. I kind of hope Imperial Mexicano wins, because I really don't like to see Santa Ana here, but then again, I don't want to see anyone win except us, so... Oh, they have no stability. You guys have some stability. They're about equal in terms of military strength. You guys have 10 to 15,000. Eh. Santa Ana probably has the advantage, to be honest with you, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. How strong is this group, though? Chinese ties, huh? Tons of manpower. A lot of divisions, which we cannot compete with yet, probably. So how do we get a villain for every tale? Does uh, Kaisar get energy cell gain? Boost. He's probably waiting to finish the war with the Dam Busters, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. But you know what? That's okay. Stagnation? I don't like stagnation. We're gonna lose our stability for more frontier militias. If if we can, please. Can I not select it? We've a good amount of manpower. Okay, I cannot select this. This is not very good. Um, in the meantime, we'll go with outsider battalions to get more compliance. It just makes sense for us to do that. We should get a little bit more stability because of that, but or it's not stability, but uh, manpower. Maybe that's glitch. Maybe I can get out of that. Hmm, that'd be quite unfortunate. Armor hardening. I am starting to run out of things to uh, research. Are we building up infantry armor? Good. That's good. We have plenty of infantry equipment, which is nice. Good on support equipment. Wow! Imperial Mexicano has just slashed the Mexican Empire in two. Or Santa Ana in two. So, uh, we'll read that soon. We got logistics. Let's grab... Great rematch. Let's grab this one. The Warrior Champion. For us to liberate Genta, we must use the Sentinel Eater's prowess for... Uh, uh, offense to break across enemy lines and win a conventional war, which we don't need to do because this gets done, done soon. Fighting up front or by proxy with regards to our planning the invasion of Jinta del Sol, we're presented with a unique situation. Viala is not a popular tyrant by any stretch of the imagination. With this in mind, we could avoid a bloody head-on conflict by starting an armed uprising behind their lines. Of course, starting a rebellion runs the risk of dealing with the rebels once the whole thing is over. It may just be simpler to go with the tried-and-true option. 
for the free fighters. Because that, see, that's why I waited, because I could automatically done hero other people. Putting the sun eater in charge of his own man has a twofold effect. First, it ensures that our troops are under the command of a competent op offensive tactician. Secondly, this lets the people of Jinja know that their liberator is not just a foreign invader by a different name, but one of their own, someone dedicated to seeing them free from the yoke of tyranny. Which we do get sun eater as a general, it looks like. Uh, maintenance companies, cool. And we'll get some better dogs next. Well, I'm glad I got a little bit more manpower, non-core manpower, plus 20% is awesome. But... Actually, you know what? We got plenty of infantry equipment. Let's go and sell some guns. Cazador Venom. Nice. Soft attack. I hate Cazadors. Deathclaw Ferocity. Yes, please. More breakthrough for infantry and more heart attack for them as well. And get more special forces capacity multiplier, which is a nice, 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 nice thing to do. Help settlements out. Yes, please. Uh, we get 46 people. 48 people a month now. Not bad. Still no manpower, but you know, whatever. I don't understand. Why can't... Maybe we have to actually wait. Okay, you don't have enough political power to remove this idea. I think the reason why we can't remove that is because the game still thinks Tlaloc is probably still alive, even though we already said it to so that he would be dead. So we probably have to wait until like 2280 or 2281 for us to actually get to do Frontier Militias. I think we actually have to wait in time for the game. That might be the reason why we can't choose Frontier Militias just yet. That actually makes a lot of sense. I think I've had that happen to me before, so. I could be completely wrong, though. We'll see in the future, because we're still out of manpower. I don't want to lose too much political power. I mean, we can manually core stuff, don't get me wrong, but I really don't understand, like, a villain for every thing. Maybe we, these guys have to take each other out. Maybe the brothers have to take each other out first or something, or maybe Aslan has to do really well, or Chichen Itza, they took, or took out Honduras. Wow. Yeah, but I don't like this. Uh, we need more manpower, man. Um, yeah, that's not good. I don't mind coring something here early on, just if it, you know, fits well for us. Ooh, that resistance is not bueno. That is really not bueno. We need so much manpower to garrison these areas. Infantry armor isn't looking great either. We just need more production. I guess get doggos. There you go. Hmm. Mm hmm. Fewer designs. Robco, that'd be nice, but we don't really need that. Ghouls and mutants. Recruit all mutants. We get. No more manpower to use. Ooh. Free factories, yeah. Throw them on here. We could use some scrap too. Hero, the people, good. We're gonna get from the Paz Pantitos because we we just need scrap right now. All right, Northern Line, uh, coastal line anticipation. So, Gente del Sol is by no means a naval pushover, and with this in mind, it would be very unwise to leave both our capital and ports behind the front line exposed to enemy attacks. Basic fortifications like stone beers and trenches mean a lot when up against a naval invader, which they did nothing with their navy, which is fine with me. Just totally okay with me. But, hmm. Yeah, we could use more dogs. We could use more of that too. Uh, Gun-wise, I'm going to lower you to three, so we can actually make more crowd control gear, so we can use need to so use less manpower overall when we make more infantry equipment. That'd be good. Hmm. At least compliance is still going up, right? Point nine. Good. Okay, I was by point one five about a day. Let's see. Point two, point five. It's going up. Great. Oh, see, look, the amount of divisions that we need. I'm really glad with the law resistance. Resist I'm sorry, I can't speak. The law resistance DLC made it much more easy to manage resistance if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, it's, it's a pain in the butt if you don't understand it. It's a real big old pain in the tuchus. But uh, if you know what to do, it's actually pretty pretty helpful, actually. Pretty darn helpful. I'm going to go get another building stock because we can. we got so much political power that I'd love to use it on stuff. But, mm. I could go military academy training now. A little more organization. Let's, let's do it in increments, though. Let's do it in increments. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. no, really way, no real way for us to expand like our stability and stuff like that, too. Now this is looking better. Need less manpower. Now we're at 16. This is dropping like quite a bit. 21.4 by 0.1 a day. Nice. Generators, good. We'll probably build up at least one of these once we're done building that military factory, which is good. Oh! Del Sur declared war on these guys, huh? Um, if that's the case, I better get into that fray very quickly because a two front war for these guys would probably prove to be very good for us. Did we train already? Yeah, we did. Our guys are ready to go. Like, I should have been ready for this a little while ago, but that's okay. It looks like Imperial Mexicano is not having a good time now that they're fighting a 2-3-4 to three to four front war, which is fun with us. Hey, look! We actually have manpower back! Look at that! Beautiful! Let's grab some northern lines. Though this campaign is primarily meant to be an offensive one, preparing any defensive measures behind the starting point ensures that the enemy will not be able to use any gain momentum to make, to make a push for our homes. It's a good idea. Uh, I'm obviously avoiding researching any sort of naval tech, so... Whatever. Do we actually have any planes, actually? We might have some planes. We have, like, no airbase here, too. Oh, there goes Ejercito Mexicano. Well, so be it. Hopefully we can take at least a little bit of territory off of, uh... Zapata. I mean, he's making pretty good gains. 
He's by no means weak. Establish communes. These guys have about the same amount of divisions, quite literally. And Zapata does have more manpower, so us coming into the war against this guy would probably be pretty good. Oh, they're trying they're struggling for Tlaloc Slayer. Tlaloc Slayer is so good. So many resources. It's so good to be take to take that spot. And I can sell some more guns. We can get more caps. We can excavate or send out manual prospectors, apostles. Cool. Uh, well, I can't believe we actually have manpower. I love manpower. Now these guys kill each other. That's so good. Let the brothers kill each other. It is quite the brothers' war after all. Legion aggression. Four thousand, two thousand, that's not good. Uh, Libertard. Ah, uh, it's not bad. They haven't had too many losses, which kind of sucks. They actually have more factories. Of course, they're taking them from them, so. Born aggression. Cool. Death law ferocity, and we're done with our land doctrine. Great. Let's go to our specialized doctrine over here. We can do that stuff. We're going to get specialized warfare. We don't have any special, you know, special forces units yet. But, that's okay. That is totally okay. Still building, still building. Scrap wise, we're doing okay. What do we need to scrap at the bottom for? Oh, just convoys? That's fine. No one cares, then. Uh, get a couple more planes, because planes are pretty useful. We'll bring you back up to two. Cas oh, Cascadia's here, too. Nice. Done with all this stuff. Great. Uh, we could get saws, but... We're going to do some of that. We might actually get a navy eventually. Look at that manpower. That is beautiful, my friends. Resistance has dropped dramatically. Oh, that's so good. That is just... Mmm. Tasty. So we can probably support not much here, but we could probably not put you there. Actually, we could probably could put you guys here for riders and then riders. Save him just slightly more. There you go. The gentle day, great, has passed, and now we can do the fate of Genta Dosol. The dust has settled and the people are victorious. The time has come to decide whether or not the people of Genta have become the masters of their own fate or brought into the loving embrace of the Federation. Free cores. What could more what more could you ask for? Free cores. Get manpower back. Get factories. Actually, actually get to use as many factories as there, uh, there is possible here. I love the coring option in Old World Blues. The devs did a great job of that. Limiting it to 300 political power per state when you have too much already was such a good move. It makes it so, honestly pretty easy to balloon yourself up. This mod is not that difficult to play, and I love it. Sometimes you just want to sit back and enjoy yourself playing a good mod. Mm, technology, aid... We can't go there. We don't have enough political power, which is fine. Yeah, I don't want to do anything here either. Let's save up our political power just a little bit more. Get free cores. I mean, what what more could you ask for? Free cores. Lost race. Oh, lost race muscarus. When do we get a seven percent? I didn't realize. Remember that, huh? Oh, I'm gonna avoid the saws for now. I'm I'm getting a mine. Good. Good. Got twelve more days. About two weeks left for generators. And hopefully we can have a good time with these guys, which we we should be able to go to war very 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 soon. Yeah, in, less, in about a week. Um, they have 56 factories. They have a lot of robots. Actually, what is the piercing ability of our guys? 27 isn't good. That's, well, it's good, but that might not be enough. Because, well, to be honest with you, these guys are pretty tough. They will be pretty darn tough. Let's go and do this as well. Uh, energy still capacity is fine with me. We should... If they're pretty... They don't look super strong, but especially if they're using light robots. And they put on a ton of support companies, so... I'm feeling kind of okay about this. Well, let's see if I made a mistake or not. I would say I've definitely not made a mistake yet. But I'll be honest here. I'm thinking, of, like, in just a little bit. We're going to do the great rematch. We might have... So, maybe not at the end of this episode. But maybe after the end of the next episode. If this doesn't happen, like, we've already... We want to get all this territory. And I want to core this stuff. I will use cons commands if, by the end of the campaign and finish off all of Mexico... Um, if we don't get the gang back together or have the option available or we never get a villain for every tail, which is the red X down there, um, I will use console commands to just do it automatically. But I'm not going to do that yet just because we have the great rematch in which we're probably going to get the villain down here. So, we'll see what happens. I just want to keep you guys in mind. I think the scope of the campaign will be us uniting all of Mexico. So, ooh, that's not good. The guys were lost. No, no they're not lost. No, we'll, we're going to find them. Send a rescue team. Oh, okay, we found the expedition. Good. Uh, I mean, it looks like we're doing pretty darn well. We've lost 32 guys versus 500. Uh, good question is... Oh, we just caught everything. The great rematch. So, Lost Thrust Muscaris has gathered in Lost Smokus. This time, there will be no tie. The stakes are set. The fires are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. The great rematch event. Which we will probably have to choose. Which, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Which way should we go? With... I don't think... We can only choose one. Because someone has to win. El Santo, the Blue Devil, or Demon, uh, or Mel Muscaris. Let me know, who do you think should win 
the fight or the wrestling match because I I'm open to anything I'm to be honest with you guys I'm either pulling for the champion of the people but I'm kind of feeling for a bittersweet victory the land of empire sounds like a lot of fun which is okay the free federation though I mean I'm really interested in that freedom's ring doesn't seem too bad either I'm really pulling for El Santo but let me know what do you guys think which direction should we go in this campaign can we see we still can't do it still 2280 maybe we've got a little bit longer maybe uh, can we pierce them? Do we have any... Oh. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. That is so good. But you know what? I think we'll finish this war off tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Leave a like for all that manpower now. Oh, my goodness. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we take out Zapata and might end up in a war with Maximilian. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.